Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be taking a look at a song called Riptide by Vance Joy. Um, there's several different ways you can play this. I'm going to choose to play it with a capo on number one, but if you don't have a capo handy, you can also play it without a capo with the same chords I'm going to show you. It'll sound fine, okay? Um, so capo on number one, let's get started. scared of dentists in the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations Though all my friends are turning green With a magician's assistant in their dreams And they come unstuck Lady running down to the river Taking away to the dark side I want to be your left hand man And I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong There's this movie that I think you'd like This guy decides to quit his job And head to New York City This cowboy's running from himself She's been living on the high shelf And they come unstuck Lady, running down to the riptide Taking away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand man And I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong I just wanna, I just wanna know If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay I just gotta, I just gotta know I can't have it, I can't have it any other way I swear she's destined for the screen The closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen, boy Lady, running down to the Alright, so starting here off here on the chords, I've got a capo on number one. Like I said before, if you don't want to play with a capo, if you don't have a capo handy, you can play it without a capo. I think it sounds just fine. Um, I just prefer a capo on number one for this. First chord is going to be A minor. Second chord is going to be G. Third chord is going to be C. Those three chords are going to get us through almost the entire song. Um, so again, it's A minor, G, to C. So if you watch the, pla the practice playthrough, uh, you might notice that I'm playing the G a little different. I, play, I go from A minor, and then on the G, I go, I play, um, with my second finger, I play the fifth string second fret. My third finger, I play the sixth string third fret and my last finger I play the first string third fret. So it's the same chord, it's just a little bit easier for me to go A minor to G to C. But you can play it either way. Um, so the strumming that we're gonna be using on this is gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. The chord is gonna be down, down, up, down, up, 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 A minor, G, C, and hold the C a little longer than the other chords.
stuck. So when you get right there before the chorus, when they say they come unstuck, it's going to be one strum on C and you just let it ring out. And then we jump into the chorus. The chorus is the same chords played in exactly the same way. All right, so. Lady running down to the C, holding on C and A minor and G and back to C. And I love you, G and back to C. Hold on C again, and then we go to the chorus. Okay, so we play two verses and two choruses, just like we just I just showed you. Um, and then we play uh, the bridge, and so the bridge is the only other part that we need to learn. The bridge chords are going to be A minor to G to C. And then, so that's the same as the other parts that we've been playing, but then at the end of that chord sequence, we're going to throw in an F. All right? And if you want to play an F like this, if it's easier for you, um, so if you play, put your first string on the, or, sorry, your first finger on the second string first fret, your second finger on the third string second fret, and your last two fingers on the fifth and fourth strings of the third fret, you can play an F that way if it's easier. And it might be easier to play it that way actually to go A minor to G to C, and then just go to that other F at the end. Okay. Um, so A minor, G, C, and then end the sequence of the F, whatever F you choose to play. All right, so the strumming for this section is going to be a little different. It's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's very close to what you were playing, but it's a little different. You so you were playing in the verse and chorus. You're playing down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Up, down, up, down, down. Now we're playing down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. If you forget when you're playing the song and you just play the same strumming pattern for the verse, chorus, and the bridge, it won't sound bad. It'll sound fine. But this is just a subtle thing that he does where he switches the strumming pattern during the bridge to make it sound a little different. Okay? So with the chords and the strumming, it sounds like this. F in that sequence, the second time you play through that sequence, that last F is just going to be one strum, let the, let the chord ring out, and then we end the bridge with just one strum on each chord. I swear she's destined for the stream, the closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. Okay, so just one strum on all those chords to end the, uh, the bridge. All right, and then we finish the song with two choruses. Uh, one very soft chorus and one loud chorus, okay? And that, that'll finish the song. So it's, it's like... Uh, running down to the river, taken away to the dark side. I want to be your left hand man. And I love you when you're singing that song. And I got a lump in my throat because you're going to sing the word. dark side, I want to be your left hand man, and I love you when you're singing that song, and I got a lump in my throat, cause you're gonna sing the words wrong. Thanks a lot for watching, see you later.